Hello, my name is Dave Bird. I'm with Balif Incorporated. And uh, today we're gonna present uh, kind of a, uh, a very easy yet very much uh, problem solving solution from Balif Incorporated for protecting the ends of inductive proximity sensors. Before we get into this, uh, and I know you're probably rolling your eyes and going, who wants to talk about ceramic caps? But guess what? These things can go a long way in increasing machine productivity reducing downtime, reducing material consumption on the plant floor. And we have to talk about some basic premises. Uh, inductive prox switches were invented um, a long time ago, 50s and 60s, to replace contact switches, uh, things that have plungers and, uh, and lever arms and that sort of thing. Anything mechanical uh, has a limited life. It's gonna wear out, that's just the way it is. So these inductive prox switches uh, started being uh, manufactured as a non-contact device, so it eliminates all that mechanical motion. Uh, but it was invented mainly to see mild steel as the target uh, to stop, start, control, position, some automated process. Um, the very most popular format is, is this. It's a tubular inductive prox switch. This one happens to be 18 millimeters in diameter. They all work the same way very end of the sensor right here there's a coil you can't see it but it's underneath this cap and that protective cap can be plastic it can be a one-piece steel barrel it can be a lot of different materials some people are making them out of ceramics but what happens in this situation you can see that face is sitting out there in, in the open um, in an unprotected unbunkered sensor and and in the past we we try to promote uh, products like this prox mount it's here in front of us it's a protective mount, and you can mount this out on your machine with these two front nuts right here. And there's a bevel at the end of it to protect that vulnerable end of the sensor, the most vulnerable part of a tubular inductive prox switch, that is the area where the face meets the barrel. So when these things are installed in, in, a, in a machine, and you just tighten this down with your fingers and it's locked in, you have a bevel protection, we protect the end of plastic face of the sensor, and it's modular, so if you ever have to change it out, voila, we're done. But guess what? In real life, it's not always mounted that way. We see all kinds of things in assembly and automation, welding, stamping, where the sensor is just hanging out there, ready to be hit. And the more hits we have, and the more uh, uh, temperature, and all those hostile industrial environments, the things that take place, the shorter the sensor uh, duration, the, the shorter the life of that thing. Uh, they should last 114,500 hours, just under 13 years, but, uh, but they don't. So in front of me, we have an eight, a 12, an 18, and a 30 millimeter ceramic cap. And it's very simple. There's an insert in there that has a one millimeter thread pitch. That's an IE standard for, um, IEC standard for all makers of induct industrial proximity sensors. So we'll kind of show you, we just screw on this very robust, very rugged, uh, heat resistant ceramic cap. And we just bottom it out to the face and we rock and roll. And as you can see, um, it, it covers a great area, that vulnerable end of the prox switch. And when our target comes in place, we trip an output. Very, very good. We've seen these in real life where the, the, uh, the, the cap itself under use has chunks taken out of it but it still continues to stay on and function and protect the sensor, thus increasing your productivity and your machine uptime. So if you have situations where, where your sensors are hanging out in the middle of nowhere and you wanna protect those things and get a little more life out of them, this is a very viable solution for manufacturing in all types of, uh, of disciplines. So contact Balif Inc., your direct Balif salesperson or your distributor salesperson, and they'll be very happy to accommodate you. Have a great day.